That's the banjo we garbage picked the other day. Playable, ready to go. Guess whose birthday it is today. Birthday. He's old today. But we are uh, attempting to get our lives together this morning. We do have a couple of things that have sold. One was right there. It is not anymore. And the other thing, I'm not entirely sure where I stuck it, to be truly honest. I don't know. It's, it's like in one of three places. And I haven't... Uh, I listed it not that long ago, so it couldn't have gone too far, although I don't see it over here. Possibly in the order closet, although I don't see it in here either. Where did I stick this thing? Hmm. Does this ever happen to you guys? Sell something and you're not entirely sure where it went. Because I do not see it in here either. Alright, we're going to go check the third spot. Hmm. I don't see it in this cupboard either. Where in the heck did I stick this thing? Bam. I see it. Okay, got it. But before we go over all of that, we do have a couple of things for porch pickup. This being one of them. Garbage picked this two weeks ago, I believe. Finally got around to wiping it all down, cleaning it up, getting it ready to go. It's like a really small version, <laughs> but I, st I still, I posted it for five bucks. Somebody's supposed to come at some point today and pick it up. So five dollars, we don't have any money into it. And... Kind of the same thing with these two. We garbage picked these last year, I believe. Or, there's also a secondary where we got these. There was a free ad somewhere, and a friend of mine um, was, like, first in line to grab these two. And there was, like, another mosaic one, which we already sold. These two, nothing super special about them. They ended up on the deck all winter. I posted them for $8 for the pair, and I'm supposed to have somebody come and pick them up here fairly shortly. Rich has also set up a pickup for today at 11 o'clock for the Ankyo um, subwoofer. Is that what it's called? <laughs> the Ankyo subwoofer that we showed you in yesterday's video working. Um, yeah, 20 bucks. We garbage picked it. Don't have any money into it. So that is another sale for today. Now we can do the online solds. I know it's kind of a hodgepodge for today's getting rid of. Definitely some interesting sales. I guess we'll start with this one. It is a new bright. We garbage picked this piece a week ago, two weeks ago, I think. It was a Sunday, I remember that. It is huge, as you can see. We have no idea if it functions. We have the remote somewhere. I don't see it here, but we do have the remote. Stuck it on eBay for $60 or best offer. Sold it for $60 plus the cost of shipping. They paid a hundred and something dollars, hundred and six dollars for this thing, including shipping. And of course my dog has to drink water. Mm, I think he's done. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess there's a couple of names that are pretty good. New Bright is one of them. I cannot for the life of me remember the other ones. But uh, if you see them at like a garage sale, I guess they're worth looking up if we ever get to have garage sales this year. I'm like scared this whole virus thing is going to ruin garage sale season. I look forward to it every year. We live in Michigan. We don't get to do garage sales all year. <laughs> so, oh please, virus go away. The next thing is this mid-century modern boudoir lamp. They don't even want the shade. They just want the lamp. They offered me 30 bucks. We've had this thing for quite a while. It was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Originally, I had it listed for 45 with the shade, and it just wouldn't move. I've been slowly dwindling the price down. I got a $30 offer yesterday, and they said they only want the lamp, not the shade. Well, great, because I hated the thought of having to... <clears throat> Excuse me. I hated the thought of having to ship that shade anyway. So I only have to ship the lamp. I can keep the shade. Do something else with that for 30 bucks. Not a great pickup, but uh, overall, it is what it is. Now, this Mead 5-star, like, zippered binder, trapper keeper kind of ordeal. We garbage picked this a couple weeks ago still has the tags on it. It does not have the original paper or, you know, whatever, but that stuff can be replaced pretty easily. 
I threw this up on eBay for $8 and it sold plus the cost of shipping and it is going to Anchorage, Alaska of all places. I don't know. They paid a lot of money to have this thing shipped from Michigan to Anchorage, Alaska. I don't quite understand that, but I'll do it. I'll, I'll take your money and I'll ship you a thing. And these are the three things that we have sold online. All three on eBay. We're going to get the stuff boxed up. We do have to make a trip to FedEx for that big old guy, which is going to be real fun. Other two, just USPS, and we'll get on with our day. It looks like the plant stands were picked up, and Rich actually set up a $5 porch pickup for this uh, propane tank. <laughs> Usually we scrap them, but apparently they're selling 5 bucks a piece, which is way more than what we're going to get from the scrapyard, so... Good to know for future reference. That's supposed to be picked up at some point. But we should have $8 in the bin for the plant stands. So we'll grab that. I'm so used to being able to open this with one hand. It's not going to happen. The gray one was so wore out I could open it with like no problem at all. But there should be 8 bucks here for the plant stands. And then... Rich had set up a pickup for that subwoofer, and that also got picked up. So there should be money under the mat, which there is, for the subwoofer that we garbage picked. $28 off of garbage picked items, or at least free items. I don't know if I garbage picked those plant stands or if I got them for free, but regardless, $28 off free items is not bad. So check this out. I thought I was doing correctly, and my dog is trying to drink water in the background. Change your mind. So I grabbed those at the grocery. Okay, she's she's gonna drink water. Just hold. And then she just walks away. She looks at me like, "Oh, you're not gonna video while I'm trying to drink water." That just took all the fun out of it. So I bought AA batteries at the grocery store because I was certain that that is what this took. I was I had tried all of our batteries in the junk drawer, couldn't get it to function. Got home and realized, oh, I'm wrong. They are C batteries, not AA batteries. Awesome. So I went back through the junk drawer, found more C batteries, and check this out. Never answer on the first ring. Don't expect me to answer it. Isn't that cool? Never answer on the first ring. Don't expect me to answer it. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest phone ever. I think that's all it does though. Um, and you can turn this off. It doesn't always do that. But this is that piece we bought from Salvation Army a while ago. I just never got around to listing it because I couldn't test it. Just tested it. Works awesome. I'm going to get this listed probably like 60 bucks. These things were going for quite a bit of money. I guess they're fairly rare. And I do got to bring this in. Things were going pretty smoothly. Should have been my first thought that something was going to go wrong. She's going to pass now uh, 24 hours later because she re totally remembered that she had bins in her basement. Really? So now I have to go through the like 12 other people that were interested and figure out who is next in line, which is awesome. I don't know what's going on with pickup for this thing. We still have to unload the trailer and I think we are going to go birthday garbage picking with Richard. And I just set up a porch pickup for this vintage red Coleman cooler. Picked this up at Salvation Army for like 10 to $12. I can't remember specifically what I paid for it. I just took a $40 offer on it. They're supposed to pick it up today. Everything should be good there. We'll see if they show up. I, I'm pretty sure the guy's pretty excited about it. So I, I would be surprised if they didn't show up. Trailer is unloaded. We are ready to go. Let's go garbage picking. See if we can do a little bit better than we did yesterday. Dude. I want the big boy. Where did they get that? I want it. That is actually pretty friggin' sweet. We haven't found anything yet, but that was worth showing you. We've got stuff. What is that? I don't get it. It's well, it's on wheels, so that's good. I'll take the cool but not so heavy thing. Oh man, I seen the big belly bank, but it's got a name written on it. I can't sell the ones with names. Oh, 
That thing's kind of cool, though. I just took this out of the bag. Clearly works. Sweet. I don't know why this thing's having such a hard time focusing, but, uh, yeah. We got some stuff and some things. This thing has, uh, apparently seen some better days. More scrap that we can't do anything with for the moment. Oh my god, this pile is going to be ridiculous by the time the scrap yards open back up. It's so funny now that the there's not going to be any more snow. People are just throwing away their snow throwers left and right. I swear we have this exact same one. Don't we have this exact same one in our scrap pile currently? And a mower. Hopefully we can possibly get that thing going. It's about mower season. Man, we're going to have to just dedicate an entire week of taking scrap back once the scrap yard's open. Oh my gosh, we have so much scrap. Quick pit stop at home. We have to unload this. This is already full. We're only about halfway done. So before we take off any further, we're going to unload the truck and trailer and grab money. Because that got picked up and the cooler is gone. So there should be 40 in the bin. So you grab that. Ugh. <laughs> you just got like a way close up of the bin. Should be 40 in here. Indeed, 40 in there. And then I see the five right here for that uh, propane tank. So not too bad. We have a large pile of free. Probably can take the bikes now that, uh, are those stilts? Oh my gosh. Those are indeed stilts, but they're like busted. One of them's missing a peg thing. Razor scooters. are good. I don't think so. We'll leave those. Pogo stick though. That one's a Trek. If I remember correctly, that's a good brand. Ooh, the boys bike is a Trek too. I'll have to look those up. I, I want to say those are good brands. Scrap metal is prevalent lately because the scrap yards are closed and nobody else is running except for us. So, why not? And more stuff. We got a Master Built Pro and a couple more bikes. It's surprising to me how many bikes are being thrown out right now. Those both look alright though. I don't know, the chains are a little rusted, but overall, I mean, they don't look broken that I can see old school CD cases. Are there CDs in them? Indeed, there are some. The essential Michael Jackson. Perfect for right now. Alright, hold these. I think all of these are full. This one maybe not. Love when you garbage pick the tunes, man. Tons oh, of tunes. tons of tunes. I know there's cool stuff in there. We garbage picked the tunes. Did you see the essential Michael Jackson? Yes. Yes. Okay. That one Just checking. It's essential. It's essential. I'm telling you, we picked the tunes. So people are absolutely still flagging us down. I guess the garbage companies aren't even taking bulk stuff like that right now. So that's why people keep flagging us down. But we just got that generator. And on another flag down from last week, she left us a phone number. We just called her. Oh my gosh, we are loaded up. And some of it's sellable. It's not even all scrap. We're back home. And it is actually freaking snowing right now. I don't know if you guys can catch any of the flurries. But anyway, we're back. Lots of scrap. Lots of scrap. I don't think I've ever at one time had so many golf clubs. Insane how many golf clubs. This is probably just scrap. It is missing a knob. 
that is scrap. It does not work, I do not believe. These I do believe are sellable. I should probably take these in the house. 40 pound adjustable dumbbell set. All the gyms are closed everywhere, so I don't think that this will last very long as long as all the pieces are here, which I did not check. All right, 25. Yeah, I mean, it looks like everything is here. I'll probably throw that up on swap, and I doubt it'll last too long. And then this is a pretty cool old toolbox. It has tools in it, too. That, I do believe, is also sellable. Whoops, I did not realize that this game had the pieces to it. It was in, like, the scrap pile of stuff. Eat. All right, so let me check this out, because if it's got the pieces, I might take it inside and list it. All right, so it does appear that all the pieces might be there. I have no idea if this has any value. Everyone's kind of over that show, I think. I watched it. I watched like five seasons or four seasons. I never even made it to the end of the show. But I don't know. I'll look it up, see if there's any value there. And a trailer full, again, of scrap. Except for those bikes. Those Trek bikes might end up being sellable. I want to say that that's a good brand, but don't quote me on that. I don't know. These bikes, unfortunately, both are just going to end up being scrap. The chains are completely destroyed on both of them. Somebody left their bikes outside when they weren't supposed to is basically how that went down. But again, thanks for hanging out with us, and we will do it again soon. See ya.